Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here at the mall. It's a little bit cold and rainy outside, so walking outside is not much fun today. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone and talk about guitars while I walk. Because it makes the time pass pretty quick. So, I hope y'all are doing good in your neck of the woods. We've had some snow here and some ice. And it's been threatening to freezing rain for a couple of days. And uh, we're just kind of getting through that now. And my Mustang does not do very well on any slick surfaces whatsoever. One tiny little sliver of ice on the road and it is disaster. So I stayed home for three days last week and made a lot of videos. So I'm thinking about different gauges of strings. There are a lot of different brands and a lot of different sizes. And a lot of people ask me, what are the best and what are the most uh, common sizes and gauges and thicknesses? I guess those are all the same thing, right? So it's a little bit of a uh, hard question to answer right off the bat. But here's how it works. For the cigar box guitars that I make, I prefer the .10 gauges. .10 being the first string of a six string set. And like most people, I use the fifth, fourth, and third strings from a regular guitar on a three string CPG. And that works out just great because I can bend the third string enough to play some lead guitar on it, but the other strings are heavy enough where I can play slide. If your string gauges are too thin or too light, I guess you would say, it's hard to play slide on them because you don't get a good tone. So the best of both worlds for me is a .10 set on the first string. I don't use a first string on a three string CBG. I'm just saying that the first string of a six string set is a .10. And that's pretty much all I've ever used. Every now and then I'll tune differently and I'll have to have a heavier gauge string to put on there. But for the regular open G tuning, that seems to work the best. So I use the uh, fifth string for the big string, the fourth string for the middle, and the third string for the first string, like most people do, because it's really versatile. You can play tons and tons of different types of music with that gauge string. So if you're playing slide guitar, some other things come into play here. So first of all, your slide tends to sound better on the wound strings. That would be the fifth and fourth string if you're using a CBG with the uh, fifth, fourth, and third strings. Your uh, third string on a regular six string set is the first string on a CBG. And that one is usually the weakest link as far as slide. It's not gonna sound very good. It's not gonna sound very bright because it's a point ten A and B, it's not a wound string. You're gonna get way, way, way better tone with a wound string. So for that type of a setup, I usually use 17s and maybe 19s and maybe 20s for the first string, which is competing gauge-wise with the second string, but no problem, that's, that's not really an issue. I'm just saying that the first string is almost as big as the second string when I use that gauge of a, of a string. So the quote third string of a regular six string guitar is what I use as the first string on a three string CBG. And if I wanna place light on that, then I'm gonna use a much heavier gauge. Not a 0 .11, 0 .12, 0 .13, probably a 0 .16, 17, maybe even, a, even a, a, all the way up to 0 .20. That's the first string. And the fourth string, I usually keep the same the normal whatever gauge that is I can't really recall what that is and that works just fine so you can basically kind of uh, experiment use a I don't know 14 to 17 to 20 on the first string 
and keep your normal fifth and fourth. Try that out, see how it sounds. See if you get a good slide sound, slide tone and sustain. And you can kind of experiment from there. A lot of people don't understand that when you're bending strings, uh, the point 10 is great, but the slide sounds awful and they don't understand why. So if you experiment with the different gauges, I think you'll find that the wound 14, 17, 18, 20 uh, for the first string is gonna get you a lot better tone as far as playing slide. Well, we got some Christmas sales going on here. They had some good looking, really cool looking psychedelic fancy shirts for sale, but they only had the, the big man size and I'm not a big man. So that didn't work out so good. But I come in here and I check out the hats and that's where I get all my hats <laughs> at Dillard's because they change their hat stocks, hat stock, I guess, every week or two. And if I come in every couple of days and do my walking in the summer when it's hot and in the winter when it's cold, then uh, I invariably come across some pretty good sales. Might get a good gig hat like this one, which I bought here, uh, which is normally about, I don't know, 35 bucks. You can get them all the way down to about 12 bucks if you uh, come to the store often, which I do to walk. So it works out pretty good. I kill two birds with one stone. But that has nothing to do with cigar box guitars, right? So if you're using a wound, say 17 on the uh, first string of a three string CBG, do you need to have a heavier gauge second and third? Well, maybe, maybe not. If the thickness of the first string competes with the thickness of the second string, in other words, if they're almost the same, that's not really a problem because you're not really bending the first string. That's not the idea. You want to play slide on that string. If you want to bend that string, you probably don't want to use a wound string because that's going to be real hard to bend. So I would recommend like a, a 0.10 or 0.11, maybe a 0.12. Uh, if you're going to be bending that first string and not playing slide. You'll get a, a much better bend out of it if it's a slightly lighter gauge. So another thing that comes into play is the song that you're playing. I actually have certain guitars that I play certain songs on and other guitars I play other songs on. And that's for the reasons that I just uh, described to you. If I want a nice... Uh, screeching fog hat slide, fog hat kind of slide, I'm going to use a wound first string. But if I'm not going to be playing slide on a three string, which I rarely do, I'm probably going to be bending that first string. For some reason, I don't like how a three string feels when I play slide. I'm kind of getting off subject here, but I think I figured out why it feels weird. And it's because when I play uh, slide on the uh, first string, uh, it has a good tone if I have a wound string, but there's only three strings on it. And I've been playing slide for 35 years on a six string. So it just feels weird to play slide on such a skinny neck with only three strings on it. So, uh, well, that's just me. That's just my experience. So if you've got a point, I don't know, what did I say, 14, 15, up to 20 first string, you may or may not need to have a heavier uh, second string, which is your fourth string from a regular six string set. Uh, you, you don't want your strings badly mismatched. In other words, you don't want a real skinny string next to sort of a fat string or a medium string closer to a, right next to a super fat string. You don't want to have massive differences in thickness between the strings because it's going to feel weird and it's going to be awkward when you uh, bend the strings. Uh, your tone is going to vary drastically with how you play slide and that sort of thing. So like I said, the, your best bet is to start with a, uh, for slide anyway, I'd say a .12 or 14 and you can go up from there. 
keep in mind as you have a heavier gauge string you're going to have to have for the first string you're going to have to probably have a slightly heavier second and third otherwise they're going to feel mismatched i can't give you all the ins and outs of all the exact gauges that go together but suffice it to say if you get on the internet and you do a search on amazon for guitar strings look at the different gauges write down the gauges that they have in the different packages so for instance if it's a 0.10 and then a 0.14 and then a 0.21 then write all that down so that you know what strings quote unquote go together because you don't want a big fat string right next to a big to, to a tiny skinny string and at first it seems kind of like a long process and it is because there's lots of information not sure what rude 21 means um, so once you kind of get the hang of the different gauges and you write them down once you decide on what say first string you like then you can look it up and determine what second string would fit with that first string in other words with which second string is not too small and not too big and that way you can kind of experiment and it does take a lot of experimentation and once you finally find your favorite gauge write it down for the first string gauge the second string gauge and the third string gauge and now i've got oh six or eight or ten various cbgs at home i know exactly which one to pick up to play what song because if i'm bending the strings with my fingers i need light gauge strings and if i'm playing a lot of slide on it i need heavier strings and i know exactly what tone each one of these guitars gets so if i want a nice spanky tone funky for a funky song i know which guitar to pick up and if i want a cleaner sound or bassier sound or more mid-rangey sound i know what guitar to pick up for that too so when i play a gig i probably have three different cigar box guitars available to me and it does take some time it's, this is not something you can figure out in about 20 minutes you have to experiment with the gauges you have to put the strings on and take them off try this one try that one try that song with that gauge try that song with those gauges try that song with that other guitar in those gauges and blah da 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 eventually you'll know exactly what guitar and exactly what strings work for exactly what song experimentation is the key so keep on plugging keep on playing let me know what songs you want to hear what songs you want me to make a lessons for uh, the different styles of music that you're interested in seeing on my channel because I aim to please with that I'm glad to see by the way that a lot more people are uh, playing four strings and asking for four string lessons because there are way more songs that you can play on a four string than a three string so that's good news there I definitely prefer a four string I'm getting kind of off subject here but let me know what you want to uh, learn how to play and it could be any style of music it doesn't have to be blues because i play all different styles it could be country it could be ballads it could be rock and roll it doesn't really matter to me so keep on plugging thanks for subscribing let me know what you want to hear and we will see you next time <laughs>